It's Maggie. <clears throat> Today I'm looking at the lunar eclipse coming up on June 5th, 2020. So the eclipse will be at 15 degrees Sagittarius. So uh, that's when the sun opposes the moon. So um, yeah, the moon's at 15 degrees Sagittarius and the sun is conjunct Venus, planet of attraction and love. Um, sun Venus is beautiful in Gemini. So this opposition will bring uh, we'll bring a lot of uh, social relationships to the spotlight. It will definitely uh, signify social relationships. Gemini is extremely social, so yeah, it's going to look great for all the air signs. Uh, the moon in Sag, 15 degrees. I wanted to read the uh, I wanted to read the Sabian symbol or 15 degrees Sag before I get into the chart. It's a, it's a complex chart. It's going to be another tricky day like the Who sings. <laughs> so 15 degrees Sag, the groundhog looking for its shadow. And that's pretty much how we're all feeling right now, uh, you know, as a rule. This is a symbol of the creative interest of man in the immediate set or drift of the potentialities upon which he must depend. Here is a direct rehearsal of experience through an anticipation of eventualities or an unhesitating and thorough practice, practical trial and error. And that's what we're all doing during this quarantine. And um, it's pretty much trial and error of eventualities. Implicit in the symbolism is a consistent sensitiveness to straws in the wind and a willingness to make any amount of self-adjustment in order to capitalize on this situation of the moment. The key word is reassurance. Yeah, so we're not all getting a lot of reassurance. Well, we're getting reassurance, but it's from oh, so many different, you know, factors and conspiracy theories. And, you know, you read too much of that negativity and, you know, it's, there's a lot of BS going around <laughs> pretty much. That's what's that's what's going on with this eclipse, and even now we're we're in May, May 11th. So. <clears throat> yeah, so Saturn with retrograde May 11th uh, through September 29th, and Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn. So you know we're getting a lot of conflicting messages, and we'll continue. Unfortunately, Dr. Fauci is as of now he's on two-week quarantine, which is a good thing because, you know, the, the White House is all COVID-19 and it's, yeah, it's like crazy town. So we're getting a lot of opposition, oppositional messages. Mercury is the planet of communication. It's the ruler of Gemini. So to look where Mercury is, it's in Cancer, in our, our country is Cancer, U.S. anyway. Uh, this this has it in the 11th house cancer. So, um, yeah, communicate, yeah, vacations with families. And, yeah, a lot of communication about family members. Um, there's some very hard aspects, though, between Mar well, Mars went into Pisces. Mars and Neptune are both in Pisces. Neptune has it like a 14 year transit, so it's been in Pisces, so that's a really dreamy, spaced out feeling, uh, you know, confusion. It can also be extremely inspirational and spiritual. Um, so we have both of when did Saturn, when did uh, I took notes somewhere? It's a different note, but anyway, Mar yeah, so Mars is 15 degrees Pisces. So actually, it just went in, I think, today. <laughs> today as I'm making this. But um, yeah, and it's it's actually right on my north node in Pisces, but it's in the 11th house of Aquarius today. But I'm sorry, I'm looking at you. Sorry, I'm all over the place. But the, I'm looking at this chart, and it's just, it's, it's very, very complex. It's got this T square. It has a T-square, which is an opposition, you know, it's like a triangle with two squares and an opposition that make a triangle. 
and the T-square is pointing to, uh, to Pisces, to Mars and Neptune and Pisces. So Gemini is trying to get information. You know, that's what it does. It gathers information. So there may be a lot of um, disparate, confusing misinformation coming out. Um, especially with Nept and Neptune and Pisces it is also um, health, you know, health and your immune system and, you know, your lung, your lungs. Gemini is ruled by the lungs. But um, internationally would be the moon in Sagittarius. So, yeah, it was, oh God, where? getting a lot of misinformation. Uh, communication is kind of muddled. You know, Mars, Mars, it's a great time to, while we're in this quarantine, to take this opportunity to to just be yourself, to, to go within, to meditate. If you don't know how to meditate, it might be a good time to learn. Uh, you know, uh, music, poetry, uh, prayer, meditation, a lot of, you know, just, so Mars can give you, it's, it puts out the fire. Mars is the, it's the ruler of Aries, you know, so it's the, the ruler of, you know, so masculine ruler of Aries, and it's also ruler of Scorpio, so it kind of puts, puts out the fire in water. So, um, because it's conjunct, it's within five degrees of Neptune, it it's, uh, really makes communication hard, very difficult. It's like, even now, I'm just trying to pull communication out of the air. And the, the nodes are both in air signs now, which means the eclipses are going to be in air signs from now on. They're going to be on the Sagittarius. Gemini axis. So Sagittarius is foreign affairs, legal affairs, law, international news. You know, we're going to be hearing a lot of that. And we're communicating with people all over the world through Zoom because we can't leave our houses pretty much, which is fine with me. <laughs> it's fine with me. I would rather, and confinement, the confinement comes in, the T square to. Mars and Neptune in Pisces, that's isolation. It's like, I just said, oh, I just walk the yard. You know, it almost sounds like prison, being in prison, walking the yard. So I just went in the backyard, walked the yard, and went and got the mail on that, you know, across the street. And that, that's, um, so that's isolation, prisons, institutions. And so we are all quarantined in our houses. But at the same time, the communication is misleading. It's misleading and I believe that will continue even though we're in May right now. The sun opposed the moon. Uh, yeah, it's like people could be saying one thing and other other countries maybe may be saying another thing and we're trying to get on the same page. And But at the same time, you know, uh, yeah, Neptune and Mars, it, it could be a resurgence of the COVID-19 virus. Uh, it could be, Mars could really amp up Neptune, and Neptune, you know, could be health, healthcare workers, isolation, hospitals, institutions. Um, yeah, and so we've got Pluto conjunct Saturn, in uh, Capricorn still, and Saturn is one degree Aquarius. So, you know, we're just getting used to this Aquarian age, you know, just, just, um, you know, a lot of us are forming groups and just really trying to, to do our best to mutate. <laughs> Mutating would be Aquarius and it also would be Pisces. Pisces is very adaptable and they mutate all the time, you know, they're, sort of a universal ocean that just everything merges into Pisces. And so 
we're all trying to mutate into this new world that we're put into. Um, there's some really in conjuncts between Sun and Venus and Gemini to Capricorn, the Capricorn um, planets in Capricorn, which again is not clear. It's not clear, clear information from authority. You know, when you think of Gemini, you think of information, facts, gathering facts, and um, talking and communicating. So the North Node is 29 degrees Gemini, and the South Node is 29 degrees um, Sagittarius. So that's, that's the eclipse. So, um, yeah, when I first looked at this chart, it's almost like I didn't really want to read it because it just, I just... It's kind of glaring, you know, you look at the T-square, the glaring T-square, it all points to, you know, Mars and Neptune and Pisces, um, and the moon. So people are getting very emotional. They're getting emotional. There's polarity, you know, there's a lot of polarity going, oh my God, the polarity in, in, in this country and in the conspiracy theories and all this weird stuff going down, misinformation, uh, yeah, so people need to really increase their awareness, you know, go within, listen to yourself, not, not all the chatter, a lot of chatter, you can hear massive, massive amounts of chatter, and I think what we need to do is really, with that Mars and Neptune in conjunct in, in Pisces is because of the quarantine, because we're in this situation to to learn to know ourselves, you know. And so people don't know how to be or know themselves or know how to be. And so it's just constant, constant mind chatter. Yeah, I just I was just doing this uh, sort of like webinar with uh, um, yeah, it was. Uh, there's just a lot of, a lot of, people are giving away a lot of free stuff, a lot of free stuff. Oh, it was shaman, shamanistic, because it was shamanist and astrology kind of mixed. And so it's like a webinar and you got a lot of free gifts. So a lot of free information is flowing all over the place. Sagittarius is learning. It's higher learning. It's knowledge. It's wisdom. It's Zeus. <laughs> it's Zeus. So you look for Sag's ruler. Jupiter and it's in Capricorn so uh, yeah the, the incajects are to our authority figures in Capricorn you know to, to Jupiter and Pluto in Capricorn so yeah that's just messy that's just messy it's complex it's so yeah so you know just do your best to try to be true to yourself, you know? I, this this could be all happening for a reason, you know? I mean, thank God at least we're, we're quarantined in our homes. This morning a, a fire engine and an ambulance were right on the side of my block I'm going to my neighbor's house and that's what I woke up to and so you know, just to make the most of this time and to be thankful and appreciative and to be in the moment, to be in the moment with this time, you know. Um, yeah, there's master classes and there's all kinds of things you can do, but a lot of people, um, you just need to laugh, you know, I think. Jimmy Fallon cracks me up, you know, his, his little girls, I just love to see them because they are hilarious, you know, and yeah, I don't, I don't really put the news on until around five o'clock, and, and I, so I limit that, I try to limit it, um, and definitely all, all the, I actually unfriended somebody on, on Facebook who's a, a dear friend, but, you know, all her conspiracy theories were just, uh, yeah, I just really don't want to read that stuff, you know. So I just stick with Dr. Fauci and really filter, try to filter out my news, very selective. Uh, 
And so thank God for comedy news, you know, like Stephen Colbert and uh, the Jimmys, Jimmy Fallon, and the other Jimmy. <laughs> the president actually called him out for, uh, yeah, he had to apologize to the president for, for talking about him and about some empty boxes or something. But anyway, back to the chart. Um, just really beware of your information that you're getting because just strive to get clear information because of the T-square to Pisces. Pisces is really muddled confusion. Uh, it can be a lot of entertainers are going to be getting together. A lot of them are picking out fall days for concerts. Um, they may or may not be canceled. Who knows at this point? It's truly a day at a time, day at a time. But um, inspiration, you know, Mars and Neptune and Pisces for inspiration to create. And people are being very creative, you know, they're creating masks, they're creating all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> all kinds of stuff. So, you know, if you're not a creator, um, there are a lot of people out there that are that are creating, you know, information or entertainment um, in the entertainment industry that are giving free concerts, you know, that is very, very large and Pisces. So we're going to be hearing a lot of beautiful music coming out, a lot of beautiful music coming out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, subscribe and share. And I'm going to be looking at the other clips coming up soon. Um, yeah, we're going to have a solar eclipse. Okay, for me, but June 21st, we'll be doing that next. So, anyway, everybody, please be safe and be aware of the information that you're digesting and that you're putting out there because, you know, it's, it's really not helping the cause. <laughs> and the cause is our Earth and our bodies and our breath, you know. And uh, anyway, everybody be safe, take care, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. All right, bye.